Now let's look into SDN architecture. So at the heart of it all, we've got ourselves a network controller. And what we have on top of the network controller are these business applications and different network services that the business runs, right? So remember we talked about IBN or intent-based networking. So here's where we define the intent of what we want the network to do, right? Through, let's say as a network admin, you might log into a GUI portal and you might say, hey, I wanna add a new uh, SD-WAN node to my network. And the way the controller talks uh, to the business applications is through northbound APIs using RESTful or Java APIs. And to take a step back, APIs are basically application programming interfaces. They're basically intermediary piece of software that allow two different software components to talk to each other. And at the bottom here, we got the network elements. We got routers and switches and firewalls and all that. And the way controller talks to those devices is through southbound APIs using protocols like OpenFlow or SNMP or Netcom. As you can see, the network controller is in charge of talking to everybody, but as a network admin, we are the ones that are defining what we want the network to do through the business application. And then the controller makes these API calls or requests down to the network elements and goes, hey, this is what the network admin wants me to do. Do you have the resources for, for us to make it happen? If not, what do we need to do? Do I need to spin up additional router, routing capacity or switching capacity or firewall capacity or server capacity? You know, depending on the type of capacity required, but network controller at that point is in charge of taking the business intent and then translating it into low level technical details. And there's also this idea of east west APIs on network controllers, right? So you in net when we're designing networks, we never want to have a single point of failure. High availability is key in any network. And here in this design, if you only have a single network controller, that becomes a single point of failure and that's bad. So to add resiliency to our network, what we do is we typically end up adding multiple controllers in case our primary controller went down, we have other controllers that can take over and that communication happens through east-west APIs. Taking a step back, what we have is three different type of layers that define the entire SDN architecture. The network elements at the bottom are called infrastructure layer. Controllers are part of the control layer and the business applications are part of the application layer. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.